Yes. All right. Okay, in these tough economic times, sometimes it's nice to just get away. That's right. Seeing new sites, new places can inspire people to look for that new job or just get into trying something different. Casey Wall is the author of The Girl's Getaway Guide, and she does a lot of research on travel trends, and she's back to talk about some affordable places to consider. And we welcome back Casey Wall. Good to see you again. Thanks. Thanks for having me. It's great to be here. We had so much fun with you last time, we thought we've got to get her back in oh, here. Thank you so much. It's always I, good to be here. I do love The Girl's Getaway Guides, and I could have used it actually last weekend. Now, when you're looking for a place that's affordable, what exactly, what's the criteria to make it that? Well, you know, it has to be reasonable to get to. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the transportation is a big cost. And then once you're there, your lodging is a big cost. So anything that is going to be very costly to you during your trip, if you look at it and see if there's deals or special offers, that makes it more enticing. Depends on really where you're starting from as to how much it's going to cost you to exactly. get there. Exactly. You've zeroed in on four cities, two kind of east coast and two more toward the west. Exactly, exactly. I just got back from Tennessee. Love Nashville. Love Nashville. Um, for people who haven't been there, it's a great place to visit. And one thing I found, an interesting fact, is that Nashville is conveniently located within one day's drive from two-thirds of the U.S. population. Oh, so wow. that means two-thirds of the United States can get there by car within one day. And so it makes it very affordable. Very affordable <laughs> and very cosmopolitan, too. It is, it is. And the great thing about Nashville is, you know, it's a lot of people think, oh, it's just country music. There's so much more than mm -hmm. that. There's great museums, there's great historical sites, there's great antique shopping, um, and they have a lot of sporting events. They have an NFL team, an, a hockey team, a baseball team. There's so much to do in Nashville. In addition to, it's very, very charming. People are very friendly there. They love to have tourists there. And it just makes for a really great place to visit. Orlando. Orlando. Orlando is a place that relies heavily on tourism. So it's no surprise that they are offering some really great deals right now. So Orlando is offering, uh, through, the, through the month of June, the Orlando Makes Me Smile, or Bundles of Free Smile campaign. So people go to the website, the Orlando Convention and Visitors website, and register and get some amazing deals. Some hotels are buy two nights, get one free. Some attractions are adults enter at the price of kids, and then kids are free. So it makes for some really good, good economic deals. A lot of kids, a lot of family fun in Orlando, and now also Napa Valley on the on the west coast, very nice place to I go, and also think. kind of considered romantic. Very romantic, but also considered pricey for yes, most people. Yes, that's what I thought. A lot of people think very pricey, but I was just on the phone with a couple resorts out there. There offering some amazing deals. They're really wanting to entice people out there. One hotel in particular is offering a great package, which is a wine tasting package. You get lodging for two, complimentary upgrade to a suite, wine, and then your wine tours, all for one thirty nine a night, which what? is very, very reasonable. That's yes. very reasonable. Great. And of course, the wine tours, you get a lot more wine. Exactly. Now, I was reading in the paper recently that Hawaii wasn't seeing the, the tourists this year that they have in the past, so I imagine they've cut their prices. Exactly. Hawaii is another destination that relies heavily on tourism. Mm -hmm. No surprise that they're offering amazing deals. And we're seeing everything in Hawaii from 50% off companion rates for your flights to $75 food credits when you're there to, you know, buy two nights, get one free for your lodging as well. So so this makes it a really good time to say aloha to the state that our president calls home. You That's know what's great. strange about Hawaii, if you're an NFL fan and you happen to be there during the NFL season, you, the bars open at like 6 in the morning so you can watch the first game. Okay, that's well, something that I don't sense. know. Very bizarre. <laughs> <laughs> but you would know, Dave. Yeah, Casey didn't do that when she went. Uh, what, what do these places all have in common? They all love tourists. They're all very accommodating for tourism. Um, they want tourists there. Mm -hmm. They rely on tourism quite a bit. So that's why you're seeing some of these amazing deals. Okay. And uh, you've written a few books. What, what's next on the horizon for you? The next one is The Girls Getaway Guide to Nashville, which is why I was oh, just there. Perfect. Good, good. Yes. And uh, we'll see some other cities as well. Um, we're kind of tossing around Napa Valley and possibly the Hamptons and other cities. Now, oh, wonderful. We touched on this before with your girls' getaway guides. Is this really a chance to go out and meet guys? But you're married, right? I'm not married. You're not married, no. but you, some of your group is married. Yes. And, and so you're not necessarily out there fishing for gentlemen. No, you're no. Just we just have to get away. We have to leave our baggage at home and get away. Yeah. Uh, really quickly, when we get uh, getting to Hawaii, it's t still a long jaunt for, for a lot of our viewers. Uh, is it affordable just to get there to with, take in these deals? You know, when you're going with somebody and it's a 50% 50, 50 off your companion flight, um, you are seeing some good deals. But then when that's on top of it, it does make for some really good, good rates. And fuel okay. prices right now still pretty good. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. All right, Casey yep. Wall, thank you very much. Hey, to find thank out you. more, go to our website at daytimeonline.tv. Coming up next, Fitness Dynamo Denise Austin shares some food for thought when it comes to taking off those pounds. Also ahead, meet some salty types who aspire to be just like Ernest Hemingway. Stick around to see if you think they passed the test. You're right back.